Hey folks, it's Justin from CartoonSmart.com, and we're going to take a look, quick look at uh, exporting out uh, transparent PNG files, specifically for the animated PNG format. If you're going to be doing uh, sticker creation out there, this is the, the format that you're going to want to use. Now, uh, animated PNG or APNG in some ways is a little bit misleading because the file format at the end of the file is still going to be just .png. And uh, this is a great little format. So it's a little bit like uh, GIF in that, you know, obviously you can have animations. These are actually all animated PNG files, including these ones down here. So they're they're all browser friendly. Uh, but great thing is, is that you're not having to deal with kind of cruddy looking images like you do with a GIF file. Uh, okay, so to export this out, uh, I've got some frames on the timeline over here. I'm just going to go to export uh, movie. And what you'll see over here is file format. PNG sequence is one of those options. That's the one that we want. I'll just call this head slap. Hit save on it. And we want 32-bit. Uh, I usually have smooth checked off. I'll just go ahead and export on it. Uh, and then from there, what we're going to do is just open up the uh, PNG Animator program that I downloaded off the Mac App Store. There are some free solutions out there, but you know what? I think it was like $1 or $2 to buy this program. It was so worth it. Um, some of the free ones out there don't let you change the, the specific duration for, uh, for frames. And that's real important. I'll kind of show you why with this particular animation sequence. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to drop these in over here. All right, so you can see every frame is now listed. And if I were to just go ahead and preview this, in fact, usually my defaults are set to 0.05. All right, so let's just watch this. Oh, and you know what? I need to change those. There we go. All right. So, okay, now that, it, it's okay. I guess you kind of get the point that he's slapping his head, but it uh, to me, it doesn't really fully come across. So let's do this. Let's change the... Uh, the duration of the first frame, okay, so we'll set this up to basically, I mean, even just a quarter of a second, right, makes a huge difference. Let's preview it now, so you can see, definitely a noticeable pause in there, and then as we kind of thumb down here, what you're probably going to want to do is just pause on that last frame there, and I'd hold that for, for you know, 0.35 or maybe even a half a second, let's just take a look at how it looks. All right, so boom. Uh, and I'd probably slow down some of these a little bit more, so maybe, let's go... Somebody's kind of blinking to see the blink a little bit more. I think that final frame, maybe let's hold it a bit longer. And um, so you, you might be wondering, well, oh, yeah, why not just uh, why not why not just export out more frames to to accommodate you know these pauses and stuff like that? Well, this alone right here is going to be about a 400 uh, kilobyte file, and if you are creating stickers. For iOS apps, you've got to keep it under 500 kilobytes. If you're just doing it for the web, you still got to kind of be a little bit mindful uh, of the size. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's a hard and fast rule with, uh, <laughs> with iOS stickers out there. Uh, and then when we're done, all we gotta, we gotta do is just hit export on this. Um, call it whatever you want, sticker1.png. You don't have to add the .anpng. And you know what, I noticed one little thing I'm gonna, this is a little bonus lesson for you over here. Notice how that's getting cut off. That's a really easy fix over here in Adobe Animate. Uh, go to Edit Multiple Frames. And you get these little handles over here, right? So now, as long as you don't have any layers locked, you can just select everything that you've got. I'm just going to nudge that stuff down. So uh, this this should be exported out again uh, to make that even better than it was before. 